Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here, and in this video we will be talking about Shell Check. So Shell Check is a really cool utility that I use because I'm not a programmer and sometimes I make mistakes while writing Bash. I do a lot of Bash programming, uh, I guess scripting you could say just adding in commands that make my life easier. So my favorite script that I use for KDE Plasma, uh, just to show you guys, is uh, this tool I call Plasma Restart. And uh, what it does is if my Plasma shell gets all messed up, I can kill the desktop and refresh the window manager. And I have it binded to a key. So if I run this button here, it completely resets everything. And uh, you know, sometimes I have to run it more than once, but uh, it gets me out of a tight spot when I don't want to restart. So I'm not very sure if this code is exactly correct. So if I wanted to, I could run it through shell check and shell check will give me tips and tell me if my code is okay. And I can also run it on different types of shells like KSH and all of that. So let's get shell check installed and we can work with it. So shell check is in most of the mainstream software repositories for mainstream distributions. And if I do a search for shell check, it's right here, I have it installed. So if I want to run shell check against my, my uh, plasma restart, I would do shell check and then user bin plasma restart. Now it didn't give me any errors because this is pretty good code. It's not really much there, it's just a couple of commands, but let's go to my Dropbox folder. And uh, in here, I've got a lot of just scripts that I've written over the years. And uh, one in particular that I always uh, have trouble with is this Arch Linux script that I wrote. It's a GUI tool. Let me show you it really quick before we run it through the shell checker, just so you can understand what it's checking. So let's do... Okay, so I had to stop this because I didn't want it to do anything. But uh, if I run shell check against this, you know, because if I if I let this run, it would probably mess up my system. But so if I run shell check against this, there are going to be a lot of different errors. And this is an older version of my program. Uh, you know, it's not as good as it used as it is now. But so as we can see in line twenty four, it says there's an issue here and I should correct it. There's an issue here that I need to correct. This one says it will mangle backslashes and that needs to be fixed. Lots of CD errors. And uh, so I can go through and I can see, okay, line 20 needs to be fixed. Line 24, 41, 43, and 45 need to be fixed. And I can fix that. And if I want to save my, my, uh, you know, my report for later, I can pipe it anywhere I want. I'm going to set it on the desktop really quick. And uh, that will pipe it out to a text file that I can open up at any time and I can see, okay, these are the problems with my programming, my scripting that needs to be fixed. And shell check can run on anything. Like I said, if you just run it as its own uh, without any scripts on the end of it, you can see that it can work with, you know, sh, bash, dash, ksh. It can check different formatting styles and warnings and color systems. You know, you can use a different kind of uh, color for what it does. And uh, shell check is really useful. Honestly, if you are a person like me who likes to run scripts on everything, this is definitely something to check out. Uh, just one more time, shell check. Let's do it on my YouTube script. Okay, so this is a YouTube script that I wrote and uh, it downloads stuff. So as usual, this one is it says it's mangling backslashes and it's there's a double quote that's an issue here. And uh, you know, it says that I need to add a shebang and all of this. So this is it, it critiques your programming and it can help you write better scripts. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out Shell Check. It is honestly, I could not be more positive about this tool. It's it's really, really useful. And uh, check it out, and I will see you guys in the next video.